Hey guys, Eric and Sean here, Pioneer Survival Company. Today uh, we wanted to actually demonstrate a new product that we've got. Uh, it's the BioLite Camp Stove 2. Um, it basically comes with this main BioLite unit, which uh, is basically like a it's a camp stove, but it runs on organic fuel such as uh, wood pellets, scrap wood that you find laying around out in the woods, walnut husks. Walnut husks, pretty much anything that will burn, um, you know, naturally. Don't don't use anything like you know gasoline in it. Uh, you don't want to use certain like gelatin type fire starters, anything like that either. Right. Um, the nice thing about this, though, unlike other camp stoves that you know you have to carry around the heavy butane tanks and everything, um, this comes with its own battery pack, which the battery pack is a little bit on the heavy side. But when you account for the fact that it burns, you know, wood just right here with you, you don't have to carry any fuel with you, uh, it kind of makes up for the difference. Not to mention, it makes its own electricity. So as the fire burns, it actually regenerates the battery pack, uh, allowing it to charge. And it has a USB port on the front of it, which will allow you to run a light, which comes with your bio light. Or you could plug a cell phone, USB flashlight, um, pretty much anything you can charge off of USB, you can charge off of this BioLite stove. Uh, you don't even have to have a fire going to charge the devices, you can actually just plug them in and uh, it'll charge them up. It shuts off when there's 10% of the BioLite battery remaining so that you can still start a fire and recharge the battery while you're in the woods. Enough talk, let's just get down to it. Let's do it. So we're gonna use some of the wood pellets just to get this thing started off. Uh, like my brother said, it runs off of pretty much any sort of organic fuel, like, you know, just like a little piece of these, you know, you can throw it in there. We find that it works best with these wood pellets. We've been cooking on this thing a lot. Um, we've just been trying out different sources and so forth. Um, the wood's great. I mean, it burns just fine. It's just um, if you're out in the woods and you get it's you know a little more damp, you're going to get a little more smokiness out of it. Uh, if you're not finding hardwood, it just uh, it burns quicker. These pellets provide a little bit more of a stable burn if you're trying to do cooking. And um, the thing we like about this is if you're stealth camping like we are right now, uh, it's it's great because it's no impact. So we're not you know grabbing wood and everything off the ground. We're not creating a fire where we can be seen. So this is just nice so we can, uh, you know, cook up our food real quick. Also should add, uh, once you get the thing burning, it doesn't create smoke. So nobody's going to see, you know, your smoke rising up into the air. Uh, it's very clean burning. And actually, uh, it, it has a shutdown mode. Once it gets to a certain temperature when you're not adding fuel, it'll actually, uh, it just burns down and it's nothing but powder ash left. Uh, you can. Just dig a small hole, pour it in there, cover it back up, and you have no concern about forest fires or anything like that. That's, you know, a huge issue right now out in uh, California. So I just took uh, three handfuls and put in there. That should be plenty. I'm hoping uh, to get our water boiled. We're going to show you guys how to make some coffee with the BioLite. Now I'm just going to use a fire starter. Just, you know, it's quicker and easier for the video. Uh, earlier, I just used a piece of fat wood. Um, you know, it's maybe the size of this lighter here. It's a real small piece, just made a little bit of a feather on it, lit the thing up, dropped it in, it starts it no problem. Uh, you can use a very, very small piece of fat wood to start this thing. And I mean, you could even use a ferro rod and a, some sort of a quick starting fire starter too, if you, you know, didn't have a lighter with you. So he's dropped the fire cube in, it's on top of the pellets. This thing should start automatically once it gets hot enough. You'll hear a little fan start on it. And basically that's going to blow, it's going to make like a cyclone inside of there of air, which uh, starts superheating the, the fuel in there. Now you will see smoke right now until it actually turns on and starts working. But as he said, it uh, kind of like superheats it. You'll see the cyclone. What that actually is, is the, the smoke recirculating down and it's got a double combustion chamber in it. So it's actually reigniting that smoke and burning off the leftover leftover fuel in it. Um, 
thus, you know, no smoke, clean burning. Right there it is, it just kicked on. Any minute now you'll start seeing that smoke disappear. That's also most likely the smoke from the fire starter. The pellets don't really smoke at all. So we've already got some water and this, uh, this right here comes with the set. So you have a nice oversized pitcher. It has a lid that goes on it. That way you can uh, pour, pour your coffee and stuff out of it. You can cook with this thing. It also comes with a grill. We don't have that right now for the demonstration. But if you watch our cooking with the BioLite video that's coming up soon, uh, we'll have it on there just so you can see what that looks like. Something you want to keep in mind, you want to keep the handles, something crashing through the woods, uh, you want to keep the handles facing the battery, that way uh, these, I don't know if I'm pointing to them, these air vents here in the bottom, uh, it lets the flames come out and if you have it positioned the wrong way you can either melt your handle or the flames will come out and actually hit your battery. You can also adjust the airflow. So right now it's on the very minimum. In order to get this boiling nice and quick, we're just gonna raise the heat. There's a single push button on the back of this here where my brother has his finger right now. Just click on it. It can go up to four different uh, air cycles. Is that three? That's two now. Three I think was good for boiling, wasn't it? I mean, I can turn it up to three. Yeah, let's turn it up to three. Just for the sake of... Uh, all right, we're just going to lightly set this on top of it. That way we can uh, check it. So now what we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to wait until this water boils. There, as you can see, this is a nice compact little package. Now this, uh, it hasn't warmed up quite yet. There's actually an indicator on it that shows uh, how hot it is. And the hotter it gets, the more the battery charges. Um, you know, like how quickly. Um, so it hasn't heated up all the way yet. This will probably take about, I'd say 10 minutes to boil, maybe 15 since it hasn't heated up yet. Um, if the stove was already preheated, it boils the water a whole lot faster. Though it's kicking in pretty good right now, it might only do it in about 10 minutes. It's right on par with like the, um, let's see, something kettle, Kelly kettle. The Kelly? Kelly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Kelly. Kel <laughs> yes. <laughs> Today, Junior. <laughs> Actually, that's a video we'll, we may do in the future. Uh, just kind of a side-by-side, -side, you know, shoot off to see which one can boil, I don't know, maybe a liter. 30, we'll go 32 ounces of water. Let's keep it standard. America. All right, it's been about nine minutes now, and we, it's just starting to boil. It, it's actually going to be boiling any second now. Yeah, I can see the big bubbles. Put the lid back on real quick. It should. Um, we did have to uh, add another handful of pellets to it. It started to burn down a little bit. Yeah, we're trying to heat up or boil 64 ounces of water. Yeah, so that's not bad at all, 64 ounces of water and I mean, it'll be, well, it'll be about 10 minutes now. So uh, that's that's not too bad at all. Um, how much coffee are you going to put in? Um, I think I'm gonna put in six of these scoops. Okay. We tried four the other day, that was a little weak, so we're gonna do six scoops today. All right, we're boiling now. So about 10 minutes exactly to boil 64, uh, right around 64 ounces of water. You can probably take that off now. Oh, just to up. Uh, well, unfortunately, I think I made a mess. Oh, where'd I put my, uh, where'd I put that spoon? 
what just said in front of you? Can we see that? <laughs> I don't know. Can you see it? What, you're not answering? Mm. Okay. All right, we just put our coffee straight in here. Stirring it around a little bit. So this is our new lazy man way of making coffee. Yeah, so we actually purchased the, uh, the complete BioLite cook set. So it actually came with the, uh, I believe my brother was talking about it earlier, uh, it has a grill attachment that goes on it. Uh, it also comes with the coffee press and a plastic cup. Uh, obviously this kettle, light. Uh, a light here. Actually a fairly bright little light at night. It's dimmable, so that's really nice. Um, and the, the press, I don't, I might have already said that. Yeah, I think you did. So this is like the easiest way to make coffee ever. Super quick way to make coffee. Uh, you just boil your water, pour in the, the ground, the gra ground, grounds, and uh, you, you just push it right down. Coffee is ready as soon as you hit the bottom. Well, you might well wait a few minutes to let it, you know, kind of release some of the taste, but it's, it's pretty much instant. <laughs> All right, you want to stick that lid on? You don't even have to pull the uh, press out. It actually... Well, that crud stuck in my lid. Um, the lid actually goes right on with the press on there, and now you can just pour out your coffee. So here's mine. This is already packed up. So you can see it gets pretty compact. The battery pack actually fits right inside of the uh, camp stove. And then all my attachments, like my coffee press handle, I slid down in here. I put my light down in there. And then I just uh, fit the lid over everything. Then it's got this nice little stuff sack. I accidentally knocked the lid off while I was just on that. There we go. Now it's actually pressed down. And then the coffee press I just kind of set on top. Cinch it up and voila, there is your BioLite camp stove all put together and ready for travel. I don't know if you were able to hear that just now, but where we haven't been feeding any uh, sticks or pellets or anything in, it actually just went into shutdown mode because it's all burned down. Um, it's just a really low fan speed right now. It's going to finish burning up all of that biomass in there. And once it's cooled down, it'll shut itself off and you can just empty the remaining it, powdery ash. Yeah, it's just gonna be some powdered white ash that you can just put in a little hole or something out in the woods. Yeah, we just dug a little hole and, you know, then pouring it in there, cover it right up. That way, no risk of forest fire. Yeah, you didn't fill me up. No, your cup is clear over there. Ooh, that's hot. How is it? It's hot. Perfect day out here. Well, that's not bad. The extra two scoops. That did yeah. it. Yeah, that did it. All right, well, this has been Eric and Sean with Pioneer Survival Company. If you like this video, check us out. Uh, our website is pioneersurvivalcompany.com. Also, we're on social media, uh, Instagram and Facebook, at Pioneer Survival Company. Yeah. Thanks for watching.